Okay, today I'm going to like teach you how to solve uh, this question. I think this is one of the past year questions. Uh, just some student post this question on my on my Facebook group. So I'm going to uh, teach all of you how to solve this kind of question. This is I think this is a question for solution of triangle. All right. So over here, here give you some information. He said diagram four show a trapezium, K L M M. So K L M M. Obviously this one is trapezium because these two lines is parallel. So we call it trapezium. Uh, and then he, he gives you Kn is parallel to Lm and then he tell you the angle Lmm is obtuse. Angle Lmn, where's this Lmn? So this angle is obtuse. Alright, so yeah, of course you have to understand why is the meaning for obtuse. Alright, obtuse I say this angle actually will be between, uh, will be bigger than 90 and then he will like less than 180. So we call it obtuse angle. Alright, so obtuse angle is like between 90 to 180. Alright, so, and then, okay, what is the first question he asks us to do? He asks us to find the length and man. Alright, so find length and man will be quite simple. Alright, if you see the triangle over here, I'll randomly draw, let me just draw a triangle. Okay, let's say you have a triangle over here. You got, this one is 13.5, this is 35 degree and then this one will be 78 degree alright you got some of the information over here so when you have one angle and one opposite length we know that we have to use sine rule to, to find the length LM LN alright if you want to find LN we know we have to use sine rule now we want to find length right so over here we see some formula over here if you want to find length you make sure you use the first one this you this one Actually, these two is the same. It's a totally the same one, All right? And then, but then this one, if you want to find angle, actually you can use this one. It's like just a little bit faster. All right. So now I want to find length. I'm going to use this one. So how am I going to use? All right. So it's quite simple. So a over sine a. So whenever you have one length and one opposite angle, you can use this one. So my length now is thirteen point five. And my opposite angle is 35, right? So I'm going to write 13.5 over 35. And B over sine B. B, okay, so B now will be my LN. And sine B is my opposite angle, 78. So I'm going to write uh, somewhere here, just to save the, to the space. All right, so in this case, I write LN first. If I write LN over, here I'm going to write the opposite angle of the line LN, which is 78. So sine 78. So it will equals to. Okay, we have these two lengths. If you write length first, then have to make sure you have to write the length on the numerator over here. So it'll be 13 o 13.5 over sine 35. That will be very e easy. You just move the sine 78 to the other side and then you press the calculator. So we press 13.5 divided by sine 35 and then you multiply again sine 78. So you can easily get the length LN is 23.02. Uh, maybe I just write 23 cm. Yeah. Alright, this is part A. It's not really hard for part A. Now you got the length of LN, so I'm going to write here 23 cm. Alright, this one is 13.5. And then over here, this one is 4.6. This is 35 degree. This one is 78 degree. So this is a triangle, right? If we know these two angles, obviously we can find the third angle over here, isn't it? You just use 180 minus 2. 180 minus 78 minus 35. So you got here is 67. Alright, if you got here is 67, this two is a parallel line, right? Yeah, the alternative angle rule tells us that if here these two lines parallel, do you see the Z or N over here? So this angle will be the same. So this angle will be 67. Alright, very important that you have all this information. So since we got this one ready, so I'm trying to like uh, erase some of the inf uh, information over here. Alright, so I'm going to like de delete all this. Alright, so now, okay, let me just write the label here. This is N, this one will be K. This one will be L, this one will be M. Alright, 
Then we done A already. Now we're trying to solve B. B asks us to find the length MN. Okay, let, let me just go, go down a little bit. Okay, he asks us to find the length MN, which is this one. Alright, okay, this one, you, okay, when you have two sides and one angle in between, you know you can use size rule. But why can't we use, uh, you know you have to use cost rule. Why can't we use sine rule? Because sine rule, you must at least, you have one side and one opposite angle. Okay, you see, now you've got angle, but then you do not have opposite length. Okay, this one, you have the length, but then you do not have opposite angle. This one, you have the length, and you do not have the opposite angle. So in this case, you can't use a sine rule. Because in order to use sine rule, you must have one length and one opposite angle, which is the information you have. All right? Okay, in this case, you do not have, so you know you have to use cost rule. Cost rule only in two conditions. One condition if you have two sides and one angle in between. In this case, one side, two sides, and one angle in between. Or you have three sides with no angle. Let's say you have the triangle. You have all the length for this one, A, B, C. But then you do not have any angle. Then you can use sine rule. All right? Or you have two sides A and B and one angle on between. Then you can use sine rule. All right? I hope you can understand. All right, let me just erase this one. Okay. Okay, let's come to this case. So we know we have to use cos rule. So my A, my A over here too, you see here is cos A, right? My A actually is opposite my angle. Okay, so I have angle 67 here. So this length now is opposite 67, right? So this is my A. Alright, I'm going to write mn square will equals to a square and ab is just two sides. Which one comes first? It doesn't matter. So I'm going to write 4.6 first. 4.6 square plus 23 square and then minus. Oh, alright, this is minus 2ab. Alright, just let me erase this one. Ah, that's a really mistake. Alright, minus 2bc. 2bc. Oops, this is 23. Got no. Uh, let me just read this one. This is, this is 23. Got no dot. Alright, and then cost angle in between 67. Alright, then we just use a calculator to solve. But then when you press a calculator, a lot of students tend to like press the calculator wrongly. So I recommend you to press this one together and then press this one together. Alright, so make sure you press this one together and then you press this one together when I say together what is what is this mean because a lot of students will make a common mistake like this they press 4.6 square plus 23 square and then they minus 2 multiple 4.6 multiple 23 okay they minus over here then only the multiple cost 67 this is wrong and then this common mistake like made by a lot of students. So make sure you press all this together. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to press 4.6 square plus 23 square. Alright. So obviously in this case, I will get uh, 550.16. 5, 5, yes. And then minus, I press everything together. So it's 2 multiple 4.6 multiple 23 multiple cos 67. Right, then I will get alright, I will get eighty two point six eight. Alright, then I minus it. Alright, this is MN square. Then I just five five zero point one six okay minus the answer. So here over here I will get four hundred sixty seven point four eight. Alright, then I move I want to find a length MN isn't it? So I move the square to the other side. So mn equals to square root of this answer, All right? Which is yeah, this one. Of course, you can't press ah, uh, you can't write like like me in the exam. You just write square root four six seven point four eight. All right. So square root answer you will get two one twenty one point six two cm. All right. Then now you can find this length, which is twenty one point six two. Right, it's not really hard, but you have to understand how to use this formula. Alright, you have to understand how to use this formula. Alright, the last but not least, he asks you, oh no, not last, you have to see also. C asks you to find the angle, angle for LMN. Where is LMN? LMN. 
and he asks you to find this angle. So we got this 67, we know we have to find the other angle in order to like get this angle. So in this case, he asks you to find this angle, LMN, and then uh, at the above here, it tells you actually this one is the obtuse angle. Alright, so now I got this one. I try to find this one. Is it possible? Yes, I think it is possible. So now I want to find this one first. Okay, I, I call this one angle one. Alright, so you got all this information. I'm going to delete it. Alright. Okay. So, how to find this one? Obviously, if possible, we're trying to use sine rule. Because sine rule is very simple. Alright, now I want to find angle. So, I'm going to use a second sine rule. Actually, first sine rule and second sine rule is totally the same. So, but this case I use here. So, if I want to find this angle, my opposite length is 4.6, right? So, I'm going to write something like this. Okay. Sine. This is the angle I want, right? I call it, call it angle 1. Over. Alright. A. My A is the opposite length, 4.6. Equals to, I got this angle 67, right? So, then it's sine 67. Over my opposite length of 67 will be 21.62. Alright, then will be very easy. I just move my 4.6 to the other side. See what answer I got? So I got sine 67. Alright, divided by 21.62. Multiple 4.2. Uh, 4.6. Alright. Then over here you have got 0 0.1959 maybe. Alright, then you just shift sign. Answer. So you shift sign. Yeah, your answer. So basically, you will get the angle over here is 11.29 degree. Alright. Then you can find your M easily. You, will f you can find the angle L, M, N. Because we know one triangle is 180, right? So 180 minus this one, 21.29 and minus the 16, 67. Alright, see whether this answer is obtuse or not. Alright, you always need to check. So 180 minus 11.29 minus 67. Alright, so I will got 101.71. See, this angle actually is bigger than 90 and less than 180. So show that this one actually is the obtuse angle. Right, done. Now we've done the part C. Okay, this one is the part C. Alright, so we got this angle already, and then he asks you to find the uh, triangle, area of triangle L, M, N. So, okay, let me just write down this angle. Uh, let me just undo it. Okay, what is this angle? It's 101.71. Uh, Alright, I got this angle. Alright, now I'm going to delete all, all this also. I'm going to delete all this. Right, I have to delete this one as well. Alright, now, we want to find this triangle. We want to find the area of this triangle, LMN, which is part D. So, the triangle, the triangle law tells us that 1 over 2 BC sines A. So, you have a look here. BC is, is a two side, and A is the angle in between here, isn't it? So, actually, it's quite similar with sine rule. But then this one is to find the area. Because all these rules help you to find the length. But then this, this rule help you to find the area. So you need the two sides BC and one angle in between as well. So in this triangle, do you see two sides, one side, two sides, and one angle in between? Which is this one. Alright, so I'm going to write uh, the area. Well, equals to 1 over 2. Okay, I write two sides. One side is 4.6. The other side is 21.62. It's over here. Two sides and one angle in between, which is this one. Alright, you can use these two sides and this uh, angle 67. Yeah, okay. You will get the same answer. Maybe I can show you later. Okay, this two sides and angle in between is 101.71 degree. Alright, then you just press the calculator. You can get the area easily. 4.6 multiple 21.62. And then multiple signs 101.71. Right, and then divided by 2. So the area actually here I get is 48.69. Uh, if this is cm, so it's cm squared. Alright, let's see. Okay, this, this is just the alternative. Okay, I, I just show you with the other two sides. See whether the answer is the same or not. Alright, so let's say now I take these two sides and the angle in between. 
Alright, so we 1 over 2. Okay, one side is 4.6, the other side is 23. And then the angle in between will be 67. Alright, see whether we got the same answer or not. So 4.6 multiples 23 multiples sine 67 divided by 2. So I will get 48.69 cm square. See, both of you actually give you the same answer. Right, of course you have to understand the formula. Right, actually for this kind of question is not really hard. So I hope you understand what the meaning for uh, for obtuse and how, how to find a length. Length in this chapter, I mean solution of triangle, you only have like two rule for length, which is sine A over A, sine B over B, sine C over B. Or you can flip over everything become like this. Depend you want to find length or find angle. And you and you got the you got the other rule, which is the cos rule or the cos cosine rule. Alright, this one is whenever you have two sides and one angle in between, or you have three sides with no angle, then you can use this formula. And then you can, you got one formula for area. Okay, just remember all this formula and try to understand this triangle and how this formula all apply. Okay, because this one is like, in I, uh, in SPM, this one actually will give you like 10, 10, 8 to 10 marks, I'm not sure, because it's in the section. Is the last section, section C for paper 2. So I hope you can score well in this chapter. Actually, it's not that hard. Alright. Anyway, hope you uh, en enjoy the video. Alright. Thanks for watching.